What we're going to do today is um, take a look at an access database that uh, has been hooked up to a uh, service process. So basically we have an access database with a number of tables in it and there are corresponding screens. And um, if we uh, step through this database we can see that there's some information entered into this uh, database and reflected in these uh, forms here that it's going to talk to. So in this case, it's a demo uh, setup process where um, uh, we're going to use a workflow where someone submits a uh, request for a demo. Uh, this is a plugin that it's going to use in the workflow to uh, talk to the database. Basically what it does is it's going to uh, enter a bunch of information into these tables. And uh, once that's done, it's going to go to a sales engineer who's going to uh, look at a form view and work with his or her view of the form. So here is the sales engineer's view of a form. And these forms are defined in InfoPath. At runtime, they're going to be um, web forms. So basically, the sales engineer has a set of properties here. There is a form view that this person interacts with. There is some information about uh, other things that will be happening in the form. Once the uh, sales engineer has uh, completed his or her section, there is a plugin again here, and these plugins don't have to be any specific swim lanes since they're just programs running. In this case, we're going to go in and update some of the information uh, in that access database. The rest of this process is basically that it goes back to the uh, sales rep in this case that looks at what the sales engineer does. So that's basically a sub process where the uh, sales rep can look at this, send it back to the engineer if the engineer makes any updates and updates the database as well. And it's going to go between these two until they're happy. And after that, we're setting some uh, process variables to set the status. And then we're going in parallel to the sales manager for review and to the SC manager for their reviews. And if either one of them rejects it, it's going to go up here, be rejected, set the status and basically notify everybody. And if both of them agree, then it's going to come to this AND node, set the process to approved, and notify everyone the process is completed. And that basically is uh, what this process is going to do. So if, okay, so let's start a new process here. Demo request. What it does is that it um, then brings up the form. In this form, uh, it has a number allocated, and that would be the ID in the database. This is the sales engineer input page. Um, I can go in and specify who the customer is, uh, who the contact is, um, et cetera. Again, this is all information that, that can be completely customized. Uh, when is the meeting date? So we'll select the date here um, early in, later in the month. Uh, when do we want to start the meeting? When do we want to end the meeting? Um, in the big conference room, maybe? If I could spell that. I just said the big conference room. Do you want to get the deal? And then what's our agenda? And all of this information, again, is going to then be populated in the um, Access database. So we want to start off with some intros. Um, we'll add another line item at 9.30. Uh, maybe we'll do um, PowerPoint. And then we'll uh, leave um, an hour for the demo. We can add notes, etc. And with the form, we can attach information. Now that information will not be attached to the database, but we can go in and we can always attach information that will be staying in SharePoint. And we can always point from the database to the SharePoint and look at information there. And then I'll just select myself for all these tasks to, so we can go through this faster. And then when I say save and start, uh, save and wrap, it's going to now start my uh, process. 
what we're seeing here now is that um, I basically have a task assigned to me. It's the sales engineer's input task. It's yellow because it's due within seven days. Uh, I can also see that I have my process running here. I can look at the history. I can cancel it. I can edit. I can reassign. The re if I want to see where my uh, information has been stored so far for, for activity 12 here, we can go in and see that it's new. Here is the uh, URL to the form. And here's the information that we're capturing, and some of this information hasn't been in, inserted yet, so uh, that will be populated as we start working with this. What we also can see is that we have um, a history that shows uh, where we are right now, so we're assigned to me for the sales engineer input, and we also have a status view of the form, so by clicking on that we can see what the form looks like at this stage uh, of the process, so it's basically a read-only view of what we have. And here we can also see other information that we will be filling out here shortly. Let's see what the uh, access database looks like at this stage. Here is our access database. That's uh, the previous number 11. Let's go to the next one. Here is 12. And here we can see that we put in Acme, Jim Smith, the contact number, his email address. And um, if you look at the meeting description here, we can see that we're going to be in the big conference room. We need to get the deal. Here is the information that we filled in. And if we look at the form itself, uh, we will see uh, the same information in there. So it basically took the information we had and it updated the uh, access database. So at this point here, uh, we're going to continue with the next step uh, in the process. And we can also see here that uh, in the process history, um, it's now assigned to the sales engineer for um, the sales engineer's input and that the sales rep has actually completed a task. We can also see a graphical view here that we are at this step in the process. And if we have very complicated workflow, we can drill into the sub processes and look at those as well. So the sales engineer is basically going to complete this and put his comments in there. So what he'll do is we'll say, okay, uh, the computer is okay, the modem is okay, uh, the network is okay, and the projection is okay. And uh, if we go back to the database and look at these now, we'll see that they'll actually be unchecked until we actually complete this step. So let's do that. And here's the access view, and you can see that the computer, etc., here is all unchecked. And uh, once we complete this step in the uh, shared process, we will find that these will have been um, completed. So uh, let's do that. So the sales engineer checked the boxes. It's going to say that sales engineer done. And here's an option to reassign the task if he was not the correct person here. So he says continue. And at this point, what we're going to do is we're going to continue um, the process. And if we go and take a look at the workflow, what we're going to see now is that the workflow will have come through the step, updated the access database again, and it's now in a uh, review loop here where the uh, sales rep is going to take a look at this and, and if there's something wrong with it, send it back to the sales engineer to complete add subtract information and we're back in the access database and if we take a look at the access database now we can see that meeting ID number 12 uh, for the 8th of July here for ACME uh, here's the information that we had entered the description uh, for what was going to happen in the meeting schedule etc and if we go over and look at the hardware uh, requirements we can now see that these uh, check boxes have been checked uh, and that's all due to the sales uh, engineer doing the work in the um, in the form. I should mention that with all these notifications going up, we're also seeing emails, obviously, where uh, we can control what the email is going to say, uh, what information we would like to include in the email uh, out of the form, so we can take uh, metadata and put it into the email, uh, what step we are in the process, and the history and all we have to do is click on the link and we'll be taken back to the, um, to the SharePoint site where we can complete our task. So in this case, it's the sales reps uh, review and uh, if he goes in, he'll see the information from before and he can take a look at this and basically decide whether uh, this is okay or not. 
And again, since we're in this uh, sub-process here, if we drill down, we will actually see where we are. And we can say that um, sales rep is OK and approve this. And what happens now is that it's going to go through the rest of the, uh, the process. Emails will be sent out. Uh, notifications will be received. The workflow will now notify both the sales manager and the SC manager here in parallel. And as a result of that, we will see a couple of emails come through and with these notifications, as well as if we go back go in and approve both of these. So I'll approve them. And um, both as a sales manager, just scroll down and, and say OK and approve it. And then as the um, SE manager as well. And once I've done that, the only thing remaining is going to be for the um, notifications to go out. So here I am, I'm going down and I'm saying OK to this one as well. And um, by the way, all of this is, is reflected um, in the history in the form itself as well. So now I say OK. And if we go back to the workflow, the only thing that remains now is for it to set the status to approved and then notify people here. And each one of these notifications actually has an include of the form as well. So it's going to attach the form with the email. So if we go back to the, to the site, we can now see that the process has completed. Uh, there is a history that shows exactly um, who did what, when they did it. If we go back and we look at the, um, the form itself, it will have completed and have a history that shows exactly who did what, when, etc., and so on. So we can go and check our emails. We'll see the notification come through. And in this case, with the notification coming through, we can see the history. I can open this up. I can look at the printable view of the form. There it is. It basically shows me in my email attachment what this looks like, that it's completed. And if I go over and I were to open up the access database, I can see everything updated in my app access database as well. And that concludes these, this uh, short demo. Thank you.